learning how to cut card decks like is something new that I learned like yeah, give from a friend it's a bit awkward though like let me just try okay yeah I think this is like a spinning card like spin sure you can see let's do it man yeah spend my whole weeks learning this too yeah still learning though but you guys are wondering which book inspired me the most this one Hey guys, welcome back, it's Andrew again and welcome back to another episode of Quick Tip Thursday where I come here and sit down and you know talk about all things related to content be it writing, you know, be it like video editing, photography well, these are things that I'm learning so I'm just I'm not that good yet so <laughs> I'm just probably going to show you what I've learned yeah, speaking of that so yeah, on Monday I posted a photo of me floating, you know, yeah kind of one of the most I, I would say like stunning photoshop uh, photos that I've taken like in my whole life like this is the first time I learned the concept and all that and a lot of my friends were like asking me like hey yo Andrew how do you do this like it's so amazing it's so cool like <laughs> I think that one of my friends just asked like, how many times did you fall um, well um, basically I did not fall down like I did not like try to act up like I slip like oh and you know it was just a way of taking photos and at the end of the day like putting it into photoshop and just do a magic and all that so today um, in this quick tip today I'm gonna show you like how do you do it like in the shortest time so first um, basically you need to take like two photos um, the software that I'm using to edit this is photoshop well um, if you do have photoshop I think I think like if you're a Mac user Affinity Photo can help you to achieve this kind of thing I'm not sure because I haven't used it before but yeah basically if you want to do it i would recommend photoshop yeah if you know any other software that is uh, available for you to do layering and do editing uh, let me know in the comments down below because um yeah that helps other people that's looking into this video as well right first off you need to go and select a venue for your floating i would say like select somewhere that has a natural lighting and also like not many people will pass by and all that because like during the editing process you don't want to trim so many things especially when you're starting you know unless like you're really good in photoshop then i guess like yeah, there's no reason for you to look at this tutorial anyways right so this is the location that i pick on like where i do like um it was midday uh, normally people don't really walk past here sorry um it was evening so um it was raining right after raining and uh, many people wasn't like walking through it was always like quiet so I picked that place so what you see is on that photo basically I just uh, you know lay my tripod in right center middle and I take a first shot you know with the same exposure everything you know, make sure that you get the suitable lighting that you want first before you shoot it and then the next shot which I'm going to show you now is um, this photo the second thing that you need to do is um, you need to get props for this uh, basically uh, I would recommend a stool because uh, you want to minimize the size of you editing at the end you get what I mean once I show you during the editing process but yeah first get a stool and put it in the middle in my case um, I don't have a stool I just borrow a chair from a cafe yeah just right beside it and I just place the chair in the middle and then the next thing that you need to do is just lie there like just lie in the middle of the chair imagine that you're floating well basically you're not floating because you're just acting like you're floating so try to take a couple shots um, there and you know at the end of the day like pick one of the ones that you like the most and you know proceed with it once you do it you have these two photos the one with the backdrop and the one with you lying down on the chair so the next thing to do is um, I'm gonna just pop up my laptop and open Photoshop whereas you can see that uh, first normally before I do all this I shoot in RAW and then I will color code it 
so that you don't like really need to do it later on. Yeah, once you're in Photoshop, you open this to file and then you set the background as the background file. Sounds easy enough, right? Then you move to the next photo which you see me lying down on the chair and you select um, in your Mac, uh, it's Command A, which is like select all. Then you move back to the background, then you copy paste the thing. Once you paste it, you will become a layer one. And then the next part is, once you have that, um, make sure that you lock the background and you select layer one. And then you go to the eraser tool and just hover around the chair place and start erasing. And as you can see like this whole process, you erase out all the chair like whatever that is not supposed to be in the picture when you're floating you erase it yeah it's that simple yeah so I'm just gonna like show you the speed up process here erase 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 okay so now you're done erasing but you can see that there's still um, like lines and all because the lighting of the background and the layer one is different because of uh, the chair there, there's shadows and the reflection of light. Yeah, you get what I mean. So what we do next is uh, we go to this uh, thing called content aware field in Photoshop. So you click on that, then you select onto the space. Then all you need to do is just drag towards something that is like uh, similar to the, the empty space and just cover it. And you know what I did was uh, I took the eraser tool, I turned the opacity down to like a uh, 20 plus and all that. So once I finish the content with you, I feel that there's still certain lines that's not nice. Um, I just did that to like just um, scrub it. So with that eraser tool, I try to scrub the lines. I try to like smoothen the lines so that it looks more natural. And as you zoom up, bam, that's that's the that's the result. See, it's me floating. Um, remember one thing when you are like erasing the floating on that you have to look at the shadows because like when you're floating logically you will want shadows naturally laying down so that it, it helps to enhance the visual thing like it's not like you're just photoshop crop and just paste on the photo itself so as you are going as you're editing like erasing and like, you try not to erase all of the shadows because sometimes you know when you get like too lazy and all that you just tend to erase everything yeah just be careful of that and if like some of the shadows are erased and I'll use content aware field to just drag like the shadows back into place like more or less because like if the if the shadow is like in the ground and all that it wouldn't be too obvious and yeah so yeah basically that's it it's a very simple thing like if you have Photoshop you can do it I think if you have Affinity on Mac you can do it as well if you have um, any like recommendation of any other apps that can be used you know just leave it on the comments down below you know you have other people that's looking for alternative and all that aside from Photoshop you know, it's like I know it's very expensive like yeah it cost me a bump signing up for the whole package so yeah and here comes the standard sales page you know, like and subscribe if you haven't already and remember to share it to your friends so yeah i'm just gonna keep it simple this time so i'll see you on the next video hopefully very soon peace out Woo. if you're wearing a hat you should utilize that or maybe i should just use the palm like or maybe this time i'm just gonna use the cards like Peace out! Okay, that's awkward. Yeah. I'm just gonna act like nothing has happened.